So I finally got some of my course done. I was traveling around and sightseeing and just having a good time, getting my bearings. And then now I finally had a chill morning, done some yoga and started listening to a lecture from my class. But I am gonna take a break from that again and take another thing off of my bucket list and have a surfing lesson. So I'm gonna meet up with my friend again and we're gonna do the surfing lessons together. Probably have a night out in Weligama. Weligama is a town that's like 10 minutes from where I am in Marissa Beach. So I'll just grab a tuk tuk. Hey buddy. Hello. Please don't kick me. <laughs> Made it to Weligama and I'm walking along all of the different surf schools. surfing I got up and rode it to the beach on my first try but I had a good instructor <laughs> After my surfing lesson, I had a little shower. They have like this restaurant with outdoor showers. You can rinse off the salt and the sand. And we're gonna walk along the beach, find some little shops. I might get a couple more like little blankets and then we're gonna find somewhere to have dinner. Gama, and I'm gonna head back into Marissa after my lesson today, but it uh, should be fun. Uh, good to be home. Yeah, look at this. I don't know, I hope it's heat rash and it will go away in a day or two with not being out in the sun. So tomorrow, no sun. But I got this really cute skirt when I was in Weligama. It's like a little wrap thing. So that is adorable. And it was like $3. So a little friend decided to come meowing at my door. So she must be a regular here. So luckily I had this ham sandwich that I got like a week ago in London that I never ate because I had it on the plane for like 11 hours. So I was like, well, can't eat this ham sandwich. But luckily someone can, right baby? Decided to name her Prana. You're so sweet. Are you yelling at me? Yeah, do you want more ham? I'm gonna head out to the grocery store now and get a couple of bits. It looks like it's about to rain, so I'm gonna pack my raincoat just to be safe. Back from my walk to the supermarket. Then this all cost me about 2,700 rupees, so just over $10 Canadian. I think $10.50 Canadian. So look who's here. It's Prana, and she's brought her babies. Hi. 
You're not all coming in. You're really cute. So my rash is like getting way better, but I still want to go see a doctor just to be safe because I just want to be, make sure it's nothing too crazy. So we're going to head out to the doctor. They open in about 20 minutes. Hey, okay, got some hydrocortisone cream. So hopefully this will sort me out. It was like 130 rupees, so like a couple of cents, like less than a dollar. So this is cheaper than Canada and I am so excited to put this on. So the power was out in my apartment. So I decided to come out for a little breakfast. So I'm at this little outdoor cafe. It's adorable. I'm the only person in here. It's uh, run by like a little Sri Lankan family. There's like some kids running around and it's really cute and I'm excited for my breakfast to arrive. Okay, so I went back to the doctor because my rash wasn't really getting better with the cortisone cream. It would subdue the symptoms, but it didn't like get rid of the rash. It's actually starting to kind of go down now, but the doctor said it's allergies. So she says it's either the sun or shellfish or something, um, which I'm never, I've never been allergic to any of those things, but uh, I did develop a cranberry allergy a couple years ago. So I'm wondering if it's happening and I'm starting to develop random allergies, but I have a couple of antihistamines that I'm gonna take she, gave, she told me to take everything all at once, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna take them one at a time and just see how I go with one. But I tried to start up a cute little episode of Bob's Burgers on Disney Plus, and they don't have Disney Plus in Sri Lanka. I don't know. So I guess that is me going to just crack down and do more of my course. So I've been kind of hanging around here the past few days, just resting up, letting my rash subside and catching up on a lot of my schoolwork. So now that I feel a bit more caught up, I'm gonna go take a few more tours. So stay tuned for the next little video because I'll be moving around and doing more exciting stuff rather than going to the doctor.